Hey, what's up, y'all? Today, let's look at the Nets, who are down 0-2 to the Celtics. Celtics defense and physicality. So after game two, the spotlight was squarely on KD after he went 0 for 10 in the second half. He was guarded by multiple Celtics, Tatum, Brown, Smart, Grant Williams, and even Horford, and they did a really good job of containing him. Being physical, seldom giving up space or soft touch fouls. Here Smart picks up the foul and he sends KD flying. Brown is physical and denies the post entry to KD. Horford also touches him up as he goes across the paint, not letting KD get an easy catch. Too much ISO. When you ISO too much, it becomes easy to guard, in the sense that all 5 players are waiting to meet you in the paint. I dare say when guys like KD and Kyrie start their dribble, 9 out of 10 times they are looking to shoot. Like we see here, Kyrie effectively dribbles into 3 defenders and the Celtics get the block. Again, KD drives into a crowd and the Celtics get 2 guys contesting the shot. All the other defenders are just waiting, so KD settles for a long jumper. I have to show this. Again, the Celtics have two guys contesting the shot and Tatum blocks KD. You never see KD getting his shot blocked, especially on a jumper. So there you have it. If the Nets continue to go ISO heavy, the Celtics will wear them down quick with their defense. Other than probably Tice and Pritchard, the other Celtic players can all switch and guard multiple positions. The Nets actually have a lot of weapons like Paddy Mills, Seth Curry and even the older guys like Blake, Aldridge and Dragic can all contribute. I don't see why KD and Kyrie have to do it all by themselves. Get your teammates involved. What did you all think? Leave me a comment down below. Like, subscribe for more playoff content. I'll see you in the next one.